Even before Hurricane Harvey made landfall Friday afternoon, Neil deGrasse Tyson considered it a teachable moment. Hmm, used the celebrated astrophysicist on Twitter that morning. Don't see much denial of NOAA climate scientists who have predicted Hurricane Harvey's devastating path into Texas. Others were not far behind. It's, it is fairly likely, certainly very likely, that the effects of this hurricane uh, were exacerbated by climate change. It's exactly the type of thing that the experts on climate have been uh, predicting. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration officially lists extreme weather events as one of several phenomena occurring more frequently because of climate change. But attributing specific storms or disasters to climate change, according to NOAA, is, quote, much harder. This branch of science is known as extreme event attribution and is still in its infancy. After Hurricane Sandy ravaged the Mid-Atlantic, Professor Gary Lackman of North Carolina State University, a leading atmospheric scientist, researched the extent to which large-scale thermodynamic climate change contributed to Sandy's intensity and trajectory. These questions, the professor wrote, are investigated using an ensemble of high-resolution numerical simulations in conjunction with analyzed and projected changes from a suite of general circulation models. Of his results, published in the Bulletin of the American Meteorological Society, Lackman wrote, within the limitations of the methods used, it is suggested that climate change to date exerted only a modest influence on the intensity and track of Sandy. The global warming uh, alarmists are really uh, doing a disservice in the public debate by saying that we should be spending trillions of dollars to try to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, when in fact we should be spending billions of dollars to upgrade the infrastructure in the Gulf Coast and Florida. Asked if Harvey was attributable to or exacerbated by climate change, the Environmental Protection Agency issued a statement saying its focus is on providing emergency response support, quote, not engaging in attempts to politicize an ongoing tragedy. Brett. James, thank you.